Show you guys how to get glass skin. This is what I look like first thing in the morning. We still cute, but we could be cuter. So that's the point. That's what we're doing today. So you guys don't know, glass skin is like this Korean beauty trend where it looks like your skin is like perfectly smooth and it has like this reflection on it and it literally looks like glass. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I got my bandana on, we all ready girl. Okay, let's get into it. This first product that I am using is going to be my facial cleanser. And this right here is the Rice Water Bright Facial Cleanser from The Face Shop. Now this is a foaming cleanser and I'm gonna use this to cleanse my skin. It's a really great cleanser, especially for me because I'm really interested in brightening my skin and anything that has rice in it is going to brighten your skin up. So if you're looking to um, fix some discolorations, any dark circles, stuff like that, then this is going to be absolutely amazing for you. I definitely recommend this. The Face Shop has the best cleansers and they're super affordable. You just want to rub gently, like so. Okay, so now that our face is all fresh and clean, next step is to exfoliate. This is actually an optional step, but I'm gonna do it today just to show you guys. So this exfoliator is one of my favorites. I've actually mentioned it before. It's also from the face shop and it is the Smart Peeling White Jewel Exfoliator. I really like these peeling exfoliators. A lot of people say that they don't actually work and it's just like the product that's peeling. But if you use it on an area twice, you get less pilling. So obviously it is going to be some of the product and some of it's also going to be dead skin and dirt and whatever else is on your face. I really like these peeling exfoliators a lot better than physical exfoliators like scrubs just because these feel a lot more gentle on your face. Now we're all cleansed and exfoliated. My skin feels so much softer, but it's starting to get dry. So we've got to moisturize it. So the first step that we're going to do is toner. And I've been using this new toner. Well, it's not new, it's new to me. <laughs> but I've been using this toner from Claire's. I've actually been using a lot of Claire's products recently. I think they're really, really nice. And I'm really excited to show you guys some more Claire's stuff. So this is the Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. And a toner is just something that you're gonna use after you clean your skin in order to moisturize it. I'm just gonna apply this onto my hand and then just pat it into my skin. You wanna use that patting motion just so we prevent wrinkles. So the whole point of this routine is to put layers upon layers upon layers of moisture. So that's our first layer, ladies and gentlemen. Are you prepared for the rest? Yes, I am. I love it. I love moisture. I love being moist. You know, I like sticky bejos. The next step in my routine is going to be a serum. So you can use serums or essences, which are sort of like a lighter version of serums. They all have specific things that they do. So this one is from Claire's. This is the freshly juiced vitamin C. And this is specifically for brightening. Whenever I get any breakouts, they tend to heal as dark spots and I want to get rid of those. I love when they have droppers. It's so easy. So I like to apply it like just under my eyes and then also on my forehead because that's where I have a couple of dark spots from an active breakout that I had. Um, I recently got bangs and that has made my forehead break out a lot. This product is a really oily texture. Oh my god. It's got in my mouth. Too citrusy. Huh. We starting to look shiny already, girl. Mm. Because we are layering so many products, you really want to let your serums especially just sit on your skin for a little bit, just like a minute or two, 
just so that they really sink into your skin before you put on another layer. Otherwise, it's really not as effective. So after you put your first serum or essence on, you can use another one that um, does something different. Maybe you want something that's more soothing because you have an active breakout, or maybe you want something that's more moisturizing because your skin is feeling dry. Anything that you please, it's really all up to you and what your skin needs on that particular day. A big part of Korean skincare is also sheet masks. I'm not going to be using one today, but sheet masks are really good for specific concerns. I have a ton of face masks in my room. This is one that's like lemon for brightening. We've got a honey one for moisturizing. We've got a green tea one for purifying. So as you can see, um, sheet masks are really good for specific concerns, just like serums. But they're a lot more fun. You can have a face mask party with all your friends, girl. Make it rain with the with, make it with the sheet mask. So we're gonna go on to our next step, which is another serum. I'm a hoe for the serums, okay? So the next serum that I'm using is also from Claire's. I swear to God, it's not sponsored. I swear to Jesus Christ. I just really like the Claire's products. This one is a rich, moist, soothing serum. So it's gonna moisturize and soothe your skin if you have any active breakouts. So like I said, you can use this all over your face, but it's also a soothing serum, so you can use it on any active breakout. So I do like to concentrate it on my forehead where I have some problem areas. Also make sure that you're taking your skincare all the way down to your neck. A lot of people forget the neck area and then your neck be looking like it's 57 and your face be looking like it's 20, girl. We can't have that! We don't do that in this house! I change my skincare products out all the time. I use different products for different reasons, but essentially it's all the same routine, all the same steps, just slightly different products. I tend to stick to a routine for like a couple of months and then I'll try new products. Okay, so now we look in more moist. It's time to look even more moist with an emulsion, okay? So this is from the face shop. This is the Yewa Dam Revitalizing Emulsion. An emulsion is basically a light moisturizer. Like, it's lighter than your typical moisturizer. But this stuff I like to put on after my serums. I feel like my emulsion really seals everything in after I put all my serums on. Next from the same line from the face shop, this is the eye cream. So it's the revitalizing eye cream. This is going to help reduce signs of aging and it's also going to help brighten underneath the eyes. So I just take a tiny bit and that is enough for both eyes. So I just take some from there and put it on the other side. Be very gentle around the eyes. Use a weaker finger, so like you use your ring finger, a pinky. I tend to use my middle one, but I'm very light-handed with it. The skin under your eyes is super thin and sensitive, so you want to be very gentle with it. And then the last step of my skincare routine is a moisturizer. So I'm just using a daily moisturizer. This is the Daily Repair Moisturizer from Dr. Belmer. So I'm just going to be taking that much and using that as my final step of a moisturizer. So this, unlike the emulsion, this is a bit heavier of a moisturizer. And like I've been saying guys, I got bangs recently, so my forehead has been super pimply and congested. What has saved my forehead is the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This is a miracle worker. I had like a whole bunch of pimples and congestion all over my forehead and I applied this to my forehead. I woke up the next morning, this entire area was no longer red and pimply, it was a lot calmer and then I've used this for maybe like four days now and the congestion is almost completely disappeared. I just take a little bit and I place it on my forehead, it's the only place I put it on you can put it on your entire face. This is really moisturizing and it feels really nice, but 
I just put it on my forehead just to the affected area and just rub that in. If you are having any active breakouts and they need soothing, this works. This moisturizer saved my life, got me a man, paid my mortgage. So now we're gonna go on to the makeup portion to get our glass skin. So now that we have this nice base, um, I'm just going to apply my BB Boomer Cream from Misha. You guys know I love this primer. I'm just going to take the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit. We're kind of, we're using this as a strobing cream really on all the areas that I want to be highlighted. And already you can see how highlighted that is. And you can put on a light BB cream or a foundation if you like. Um, I never use BB creams or anything like that. Um, I just use a little bit of foundation. It's really nice to even out your skin tone. So I just put a little bit of foundation on my face whenever I'm doing my makeup. And then I'll take a beauty blender and just blend it out. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer as well to conceal my dark circles. And that's it guys. Let me know if you guys like these kind of skincare videos, skincare routines, that kind of stuff. I really am getting into more skincare stuff and I really want to try some new stuff. So let me know what your favorite products are in the comments below. We can chit chat about it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you so 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 much. <laughs>